Hi there. Welcome to this, the third video in this series of using these identities, often referred to as the harmonic form. Now, in the first two videos in this series, I have looked at this top identity here and then the second identity respectively. And what I'm going to be doing now is looking at this third identity, a cos x plus b sine x is identical to r cos of x minus alpha. And it can be shown, and I'll show you later on in this video, that r is equal to the root of a squared plus b squared, and alpha is equal to the inverse tan of b over a. Now, here's a typical question then that uses this particular form. Express 5 cos x plus 12 sine x in the form r cos of x minus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is an acute angle, in other words, between 0 and 90 degrees. Now, if you've watched the other two videos in this series, you most probably might want to just have a go at doing this one now on your own. So at this stage, I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video, and when you come back, you can have a look at the method just by fast forwarding or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. Well first of all then when I compare a cos x plus b sine x to this particular form you can see that a is the coefficient of cos x which is 5 and b is the coefficient of sine x, which in this example is 12. So if we just put that down here that a equals 5 and b equals 12, then to get r, all I've got to do is do the square root then of a squared plus b squared. In other words, the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. This is a nice one because we've got 25 here plus 144, which is the square root of 169, which falls out nicely as 13. It's not plus or minus because r is always a positive value. As for getting alpha, alpha, remember, is equal to the inverse tan of b over a. So in other words, for this example, it's going to be the inverse tan of 12 divided by 5. And we're working in degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. And so that comes out at 67.38 and so on degrees. So rounding this to one decimal place, this is going to be 67.4 degrees to 1 dp, one decimal place for short. So in summary then, if we've got to express 5 cos x plus 12 sine x in this format, then we can say that therefore 5 cosine x plus 12 sine x is identical to r cos x minus alpha. So r we've seen is 13, so that's going to be 13 times the cosine of x minus alpha. And we'll take alpha as being 67.4 degrees. OK, so that's the quick way of doing it. But if we were to do it from first principles, OK, I'll show you then how we can prove this result. So all we do is we take r cos x minus alpha, so r cos of x minus alpha, and this is going to be identical to r being multiplied by the expansion of the cosine of x minus alpha, and we should be familiar with this identity. The cosine of a minus b is identical to cosine a cosine b plus sine a sine b where in this example a is going to be the x and b is going to be alpha. So we're going to get then the cosine of x times the cosine of alpha and then it's going to be plus and then sine of x multiplied with the sine 
of alpha. Just remove that identity so we've got room to carry on. And if we expand the bracket, we're going to get r cos x cos alpha. But I'm going to rearrange that to r cos alpha multiplied with cosine of x. And then if we expand the second one, we get r sine x sine alpha. And again, I'm going to rearrange that as r sine alpha sine x. And you should be able to see that this has got the format a times cosine x plus another constant, let's say b, multiplied with sine x. And you can see, I hope, that the a matches up with the r cosine alpha. These are the coefficients of cosine x. And we can also see that r sine alpha, the coefficient of sine x, matches up with the b there. So what we've got to do is work out what r and alpha are. So in order to do that, we compare coefficients. And those coefficients are going to be of sine x and cosine x. Okay, So we've got compare coefficients of. And what we do is we'll start with sine x. So put down sine x here. And that means we've got r sine alpha equals the b. So r sine alpha equals the b. And if we do the same for cosine x, let's put that there, cosine x, it's going to be r cos alpha equals a. And we've got to solve these equations then for r and alpha. So we've got simultaneous equations, and I'll number them 1 and 2. And if we divide equation 1 by equation 2, what does that give us? Well, it's convenient because the r's here cancel one another out. That just leaves us with sine alpha divided by cosine alpha. And we should realize that sine alpha divided by cosine alpha is tan alpha. And that's going to equal b divided by a. And to get alpha, all I need to do is take the inverse tan to both sides. So alpha equals the inverse tan of b divided by a. And that checks out with this result here. Now next we need to get r. And to do that, we'll just first of all give ourselves some space by just sectioning this off here. And what we do is we do equation 1 squared plus equation 2 squared. So if we put here 1 squared plus equation 2 squared gives us, well, we're going to have r squared sine squared alpha plus r squared cos squared alpha. And if I pull out r squared as a common factor, then we'll have r squared bracket sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha. And that's going to be equal to b squared plus a squared. b squared there plus a squared. Now you should be familiar with the identity sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha. It's identical to 1. And so r squared times 1 is just going to give r squared. And it's going to equal then b squared plus a squared. But I'll change that round and write it as a squared plus b squared. So that when we take the square root to both sides, r would equal the square root then of a squared plus b squared. It's not plus or minus. Remember, r is positive. And that agrees with what we've got over here. So hopefully you can see how this method works. And it's much the same for any of these identities, as you'll see when you come to look at the individual videos on them. Okay.